Hi and welcome to our new YouTube tutorial. In this video we're going to be building a navigation menu with HTML and CSS. This is going to be a little project but you will be able to learn about some cool transition effects made by CSS. So I think the project will be interesting. Before we start to build the menu let's go ahead and describe it. As you can see we have a text follow us in the center of the page. If I hover over it then the menu will appear with some nice smooth transitions. We have a horizontal line on the right side of the text which increases from left to right. Also the menu items appear in order after some delay. And if we hover over them then we will get colored backgrounds with a smooth transition. Actually this is a social media list and each item has its own original background color. Alright, so that's it what we're going to build. Let's get started. I have created a new folder on the desktop in which I have prepared two different files for HTML and CSS. Let's go ahead and open the folder in the VS Code. Right now the CSS file is empty. As for the HTML, I have prepared the basic structure of the HTML document. I have two different links in the head element, one for Google Font and the second one for the CSS file. You can download the source files from the link in the description. Let's go ahead and run the project in the browser. For that I'm going to use one of the packages called Live Server. This package allows us to run the project in the browser and make the updates without refreshing the page each time. This is a great package so I recommend to download it from the extension manager, install and use it. Ok, finally let's place the editor and the browser. Like so. And start to build the HTML markup. I'm going to open a development which will be the wrapper of the menu. Next we need another development with the class menu. This element will include all the items of the menu. So we will have a text follow us followed by the line and then we will have five different menu items. So let's open a development with the class name follow and insert here the content follow us. Next we need another div for the line. After that I'm going to create the nav menu. So let's open development with the class nav menu and insert here a couple of navigation items. They should be represented by the link elements. So let's open it with a class menu link. So the first item is going to be Facebook. Then duplicate the link four times and change the names of the social media. The second one is going to be Instagram. Then we will have Twitter, LinkedIn. And the last one is going to be YouTube. Okay, so that's it about the HTML markup. Now we have to start to write some CSS. First of all, I'm going to create some reset and common styles for every element. In order to select every element, we have to use an asterisk. Let's get rid of default margin and padding. I'm going to set both of them to zero. And then change the font family. Let's make it quick send. Sorry. Okay, so throughout the project I'm going to use RAM as a measurement unit. Right now one RAM equals to 16 pixels because the font size of the HTML is equal to 16 pixels. I want to change and convert one RAM to 10 pixels because I think it's much more convenient to calculate and use. So to convert one RAM to 10 pixels we need to decrease the font size of the HTML and we have to make it 62.5%. So as you can see the elements have changed their size and they became smaller. Ok let's move on and start to work on the wrapper. First of all I'm going to define the width and height. Let's set width to 100%. As for the height, I'm going to make it 100% of the viewport. Therefore, we have to use 100VH. And also change the background color. 
Let's use here color 262626. All right. Now I'm going to place the menu in the center of the page. And for that, let's use a flex box. We need here display flex. Then in order to center the menu horizontally, let's use justify content center. As for the vertical centering, we need to use align item center. All right. So right now the menu is placed in the center, but the items are not quite visible. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to select items, both follow us and the menu items, because we need the similar styles for them. Let's increase font size, make it 2 RAM, then change the font weight, make it 600, also, I'm going to make them white. Then transform text into uppercase. Create some space between letters using letter spacing 0.1 RAM. And finally, I'm going to create some space on the right side of the items using margin right 4 RAM. Okay, so right now the items look much better, they are visible, and I'm going to move on and take care of the menu. I'm going to place the items side by side, horizontally. For that I want to use the flex box. Again we need display flex. And then, for the vertical centering we need align item center. And finally change the type of the cursor, make it pointer. Alright. That's it for the items for now. I'm going to move on and customize the line. So let's go ahead and select the div element, which has the class name line. First of all, let's define width and height. I'm going to make the width 10 rams. As for the height, let's make it 0.1 ram. And finally, create space on the right side using margin right with value 5 rams. Okay, right now nothing is happening here, the line is not visible, and I'm going to display it using the after pseudo element. So let's select line with after. Then make the content empty. And also define the position, make it absolute. Now in order to position the line according to its parent element, we have to assign to the div element position relative. Then define the width and height. We need to make both of them 100%. And finally, let's change the background color, make it white. Okay, so now the line is visible and now it's time to make the menu work. We need to select nav menu and assign to it display flex. Then select the link, get rid of the default styles using text decoration none, make its position relative, then I'm going to place items down below, for that we need top with value 5 rams. So now the items are positioned on their default places. Next we need to hide them and display them on hover. So in order to hide the items, let's use opacity 0. Then select the menu with hover. Followed by the menu link. So here we needed to select the menu because we have to make the hover on the menu. If we selected the follow us text, then we would have some issues in the future because eventually we need to hover over the items as well to change the background colors. 
So let's make the items visible and get them back to their positions. Therefore we need here top 0 and opacity 1. Okay, now the items are hidden by default and if we hover over the follow us, then they will appear. But here we have the problem. If I hover over the entire menu, then the items will appear anyway. Actually, we don't need that. We need to display the items once we hover over the follow us. In order to achieve that, we need to disable the pointer events for the menu. I mean, when we hover over the menu, the items should not appear. So I'm going to use one of the CSS properties called pointer events. And I'm going to set it to none. Now, if I hover over the entire menu, the items won't display. Actually, this still is not the result we wanted to get. The next step is to enable the pointer events for the menu back, but we have to do that on hover. So, let's select menu with hover and make pointer events auto. And besides that, we need to enable the pointer events for the follow us as well, otherwise it won't work. So let's select development with the class follow and make its pointer events auto. So now when I hover over the follow us, the items will display. If I mouse over them, then they will still display. But if I mouse over the items while they are hidden, they won't display because right now the pointer events property is disabled. So we definitely need to hover over the follow us. Okay, hopefully it makes sense to you. Now once we manage to display the items, it's time to take care of the transition effects. Also we have to make the line work. So I'm going to use transition for the items but with a different delay time. Let's go ahead and select the item separately using nth child pseudo class. So we need menu link followed by the nth child function. We have to specify here the number of the items. We have to start from 1 and go through 5 because overall we have 5 items. Now we need the transition with the following values. We need first top with the duration 0.5 seconds and with the delay time 0.1 second. And next we need opacity 0.5 seconds and again with the delay time 0.1 seconds. Let's duplicate this code four times and then change the numbers of the items and also the amount of the delay time. For the second item we need 0.2 second, I mean the delay time. For the next one we need 0.3 second. Then 0.4 second. And finally for the last item we need 0.5 second. So if I hover over the text, then the items will appear nicely with some delay time. Okay, now I'm going to make this line work. By default it should be hidden and when we hover over the text, it has to display from left to right. I'm going to make its width 0 by default. Then I'm going to select the menu with hover, followed by the line with after pseudo element and we have to make the width 100% and lastly let's use again transition we need here width with a duration 0.5 seconds all right so as you can see the line is working fine and actually we are almost done with our project the last thing that I'm going to do is to change the background colors when we hover over the items. Let's go ahead and select again the item separately using nth child pseudo class, but now with hover. So we need menu link, then we need here nth child 1, then followed by the hover. 
the first item is Facebook so let's change background color and use here the original Facebook color it's 3b5998 then duplicate this code four times and change the numbers and the colors the second one is going to be 3f729b next one should be 55ACEE -E. then we have 0077b5 and finally we need CD2 Zero, 1 f and after that let's add the transitions to the items I'm going to use here the multi cursor then insert background color with the duration 0.3 seconds okay so, as you can see, when we hover over the items, they change the background color smoothly. The only thing that I don't like here is the shape of the background. I'm going to make it slightly rounded and also I want to create some space inside of them. So we need padding with value 0.5 RAM and border radius with value 0.5 RAM as well. Alright, so now everything works perfectly and actually we're done with our project. Hopefully it was interesting and you learned some new stuff. If you enjoyed the video then please thumbs up, comment below and tell us your opinion. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified about the coming projects. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.